APC Presidential Campaign Council demands arrest and prosecution of Obasanjo and Atikwa Bubaka over alleged theft of public fund, while the PDP hits back with allegations of money laundering charges of the APC presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Tonight, we take a deep dive into the allegations leveled against the various presidential candidates and the DSS running battle pauses between them and the CBN. Governor Emifiele. Well, this is Plus Politics, and I am Mary Anna Cohn. As the general elections draw closer, the All Progressive Congress Presidential Campaign Council has demanded the immediate arrest of the former president, Olusha Gonbasanjo, and the presidential candidates of the opposition People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, over alleged privilege or pilferage of the marine float account running into billions of naira. Now, the People's Democratic Party has, however, responded to the demand of the All Progressive Congress uh, seeking to arrest Atiku Abubakar, the PDP candidate. According to them, the P APC presidential candidate has, an, uh, has a litany of confirmed legal impediments on very grave issues, including those that border on international crime, namely trafficking in narcotics and taking proceeds of narcotics. Well, joining us to discuss this tonight is Benga Olorukwomi. He is a public relations consultant and an APC member and Tunji Abdulhamid, who is a member of the Kwara State PDP Presidential and State Campaign Council. He's also a legal practitioner. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining us. Thank you for having me. Great. Benga, thank you for joining Thanks us. For me. Yes. Great. I, I, I'm going to start with, of course, um, you, Benga. Your party, I remember watching the press conference with... Um, um, your spokesperson talking about the SA and Festus Keamo reeling out and giving the uh, ICPC and the EFCC uh, about um, 72 hours, if I'm not mistaken, to make sure that these men uh, were arrested. Um, what exactly uh, do you think gives the APC such grounds and, of course, the temerity to put out that statement? All right, thank you very much. Um, I think the only one of the few reasons why uh, the, the, my party decided to make such a move is because um, the legacy media decided to ignore something that we felt was a big enough story that should be on every front page of a newspaper if we really say we want to build a country that is, um, that, 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 uh, you know, holds politicians to account. A, an A of somebody who was vice president of this party, came out and said that he has evidence that his principal admitted that he set up special purpose vehicles for to defraud Nigerians of our hard-earned money. And guess what? He had been online for more than uh, a week and nobody, nobody said a word about it in the legacy media. Everybody ignored it. This is a young man who is putting his own life in danger, who mentioned his own name. In fact, he went ahead to publish his an affidavit where he swore that yes, he, he was he has been legally working for this uh for Atiku Abubaka for years and years. He has pictures of himself uh with members of his family, with Atiku himself, which in fact this is a guy who Atiku's family cannot deny. But guess what? He came out and said, hey. I have evidence that special people's vehicles were set up by the vice president for the president at the time, Obasanjo. And guess what? The, these special people's uh, vehicles were used to siphon money. One of them was used to take money from Joshua Darie, allegedly, who, uh, and that money was a hundred million. And that is the one that we know today, the famous uh, marine float account, or whatever it's called. Now, the point is this. If the legacy media had done their job, our media hands in the APC wouldn't have had any reason. But guess what? Uh, I think that we lost that connection with Binga. Um, we'll try to get Binga back. Uh, Tunji, let's come to you. Um, 
anybody can come up with an allegation and, of course, um, say that they have, um, you know, evidence. Um, I, I'm curious, like Benga said, what was the legacy, um, you know, group doing, especially members of the PR um, for your presidential candidate? Have they looked at the evidence? What exactly? Because if this young man is coming out, like he said, to put his life on the line to say, not just talk about your presidential candidate, but the former, his former principal, um, former president, Lushe Gwon Basanjo. Uh, the PDP's response mostly is against the APC and their candidate. But what can the PDP say about these allegations? Because uh, they might sound spurious, but then it's a cause for concern. That I'm not talking on behalf of PDP here. I'm not talking on behalf of Atiku Abubakar. I'm a member of PDP. I'm a member of the presidential and the Kwasi campaign council. But notwithstanding, I don't have the mandate of the party to come and speak on behalf of the party. I am speaking as a lawyer, not as a member of the party. So I don't, I don't want to, I don't want people to take my word as party's uh, position. So uh, that, that's just the caution I want to, I want to, I want to put up. Uh, I think uh, the APC and the media uh, people, it appears they don't have enough jobs to do, and they were trying to look for. A more job that would make them busy and in terms of getting themselves popular more in terms of uh, trying to use the uh, popularity of Alaja Asiku Abubakar, the federal candidate of PDP, to, to play their game. I, I think it's an attempt by the APC to distract a, a moving, I don't want to use train, because in the, under the APC now, train has been a jack uh, while, while moving. So the, the, the moving the campaign of the PDP as it's going, so they want something that will just want to distract attention, which cannot work. Because the PDP is focused, Alaja Atiku Abaka is focused. And that's why, you see, I have not, what, what, what they are even talking about is, is uh, unfortunately, the person behind this is even an SA head. It's an SA head. And it's just, it's acting based on mere allegations that have not been verified, that have not been confirmed by anybody. Even himself, is mere allegation, mere, mere paper dropped by somebody that have not been confirmed by anybody, that have not been traced by anybody, that have not been investigated by anybody, and you are taking it as a hook. Uh, 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 and sinker as correct position of things. But, then, I think it's but, but Mr. Kayamo is calling on the ICPC and, of course, the EFCC to go further to investigate. Again, um, there's a video by this young man who um, was put out. Most people would say, why has the Atiku campaign or even the vice president, former vice president himself not come out to say if he knows this man or not? Uh, to give cred credence or to, you know, one way or the other, um, debunk this information? Why are they silent? I guess that's the same question that Wenga was asking. No, you don't, you don't join issue with people you don't uh, have any issue with. He made his allegation he wants to be more popular. Uh, I don't know the man, and uh, I'm sure the party, the media uh, and the, uh, people in the party have also a misstatement in that regard. That's, they, 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 it was not denied. Some people said they know him. He was appointed by a group. Campaign support group for Atiku, not by Atiku himself. He has no letter to support to show that he was working for Atiku. He has a letter of appointment to that effect. That is so. What I'm saying that if you are saying somebody at this age where I can do a voice uh, over on your on, on your on, your, on, your, on that person, or can put my head on another person's head and say this is the person that is talking, that has to be verified first. You have to ensure. Look, you have done all the necessary things. And yes, I am aware he's calling the FCC to come and to do that. Is it is it by way of a uh, a press conference to do that, just to say that, to, to show you that it's about politics. It's about just trying to, to, to use uh, Atiku to be more popular in their party or to have uh, more job to do uh, for now because they are, they are not much busy in that, in that regard. So I, I think uh, as far as I'm concerned, and the party is not looking at it in that way because as far as you are concerned, if you have a case, go to court. And when you go to court, Alaji Atiku Abaka will, will, you know, they just, they just want to create more impression that Alaji Atiku Abaka is corrupt. That's, uh, uh, that's what they are trying to say. That perception to, dis to, to deceive people who are not uh, enlightened, who are not well informed, just like what they normally, they, they, they normally say whenever they talk about uh, Atiku is corrupt, what they will tell you is that go and read uh, uh, President Abadjo's book. As if in that book, President Abadjo has highlighted or gave any particular corrupt practice done by Atiku. He only made a general allegation of corrupt practice that this man is corrupt and they will go there. That is, that is the kind of impression they try to I want to ask you, you have you read that book, My Watch, by former President Lucia Gwambasando? Yes, I've done that. And you're certain I, that I, he, I do not see any specific and you're certain uh, that he time did allegation. not elaborate on certain things about I did not see specific uh, case where he said, look, 
on so so in this also so case this also amount of whatever was paid these are these are, these are, these are they are also specific they are all general which anybody can make so and that's why Alaji Atiku Abaka is even ignoring those you know if you have good case you don't join case with people don't have, that don't have case you are helping them allow them to go let them take their case to court if they have a case and then let, let, let them now defend it. it you know in our system it is not the duty of the person that being alleged to show that i am not guilty or i didn't do it it is your duty who is alleging to prove it you who allege must prove so they have to go to court and do that when they go to court the pdp and other people like Abaka will respond appropriately you don't respond to rumor these are rumors these are just uh, assumptions these are just allegations that have not been verified that have not been uh, investigated by anybody so as far as i'm concerned it is not a kind of a uh, allegation that people pdp should be worried about the article like article abaka should be worried about to say we want to respond to it you are joining issue with people who are okay. not you are giving them more relevance that's just it and that's why the pdp has refused to 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 uh, like article abaka has refused to personally answer into that into those issues the issue is on is is, is, is the, the, the 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 evidence are talking about if if submitted to if it's less even assumed who will go and prove it? Where is the man who made the allegation? Is he the one that's that, 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 that writing petition to the EFCC? When they call at uh, Yamo, will he be able to uh, uh, show evidence? All of those companies said to have been incorporated by, by Elijah Atiku Abubakar. Will he be able to show us that, look, these are the names of the directors. Elijah Atiku Abubakar is number three, number four, number five in this, in this company. Also, so amount of money was paid to his account. These are issues that cannot be verified, that cannot be substantiated. So as far as I'm concerned, they are just mere allegations that does not even require much... Uh, Explanation. They just want to create that impression, that perspective, a perspective uh, or impression that look, Alaji has okay. particular back. I, I don't know. If, and that's I, what they are trying to put in public. I don't know if we have Benga back. Um, Benga, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you very well, yeah, and we, I've been enjoying the. Yeah, we lost uh, connection with you for a bit. Yeah, yeah. You must enjoy it. You must enjoy it. Uh, Thank you. So again, there are many questions that he raised. How? Do you? How are you certain? Because Festo sounded more like he has the evidence with him. He knows that the evidence is tested and tried, and he can go to court with it. Again, anybody, I can come up today and say that I have evidence for something. I I know this person. I, I of course I know you. What you and I are speaking, but I could also make claims that could be spurious. But when it comes down to it, should the APC be sitting on this issue? Have they gone themselves to authenticate this so-called? Um, evidence that this young man has and should you be having a press conference on this matter just a question so we are, we are a party of process we understand processes we understand procedures and uh, i'm happy to announce if nobody knew that Mr. Yama is the senior advocate of the well uh, learned lawyer we can't you can't ask us to go and verify a matter and i'll repeat what i said you know this uh if the legacy media had done their job to actually shine a light on this matter the way they are supposed to, we wouldn't have had to address a uh, press conference. That would have needed to happen because they would, the, the, the uh, investigation would have been done by the people who should have done it. That press conference was done to prompt those who are, you know, hiding their, uh, you know, hiding their head under the sun. Look. You can't not say you are not hearing this. You are not saying you are not seeing this. The young man we are talking about here, and I'm not going to, uh, for, for him even working for Atiku to start with, it, it means that he's not of good virtue to start. But, but the, the, but the APC this, conducted the, the a world press conference went, on an issue that you're telling me that you're not certain if you had verified it in the first place. And if it becomes... That if is it the turn, point. Hold on. What we are saying is if that somebody does turn out to be false, and that allegation should, should the PDP be, be suing the APC campaign council to court? I'm saying... you do, you're, The you're matter say, should hold be on. investigated. You're saying that... We, the, hold, look, hold on. Just, is, Benga, just hold on so that you understand me and you can answer me. If you're telling yes. me that this should be the job of the PDP to investigate. Well, yes, fine and, and well. And this is the job of the PDP. No, I no, said no. the job of those that should do the investigation. Yeah, yes, but and then, the but then you're calling a press conference on a matter that you're not even certain that it's true, right? Because he says he has evidence, but do you know if the evidence can hold water? And that is why Festus Kayamo has written a letter to the executive chairman of EFCC, the executive chairman, the chairman of the uh, ICPC, and the chairman of the uh, Beru, the Code of Conduct Beru, that look, he's giving them 72 hours to either invite or arrest, interrogate and prosecute Alaji Atikwa 
back up based on these four evidence. One, offenses against the conduct or the code of conduct for public officers. Two, offense of money laundering. Three, offense of criminal breach of trust and criminal misappropriation. And four, offense of conspiracy. That is it. If somebody has made an if as small as I am, if somebody makes an allegation against me, that is weight. EFCC would invite me and question me. That's all we are asking this, uh, in, uh, these bodies to do. Investigate. The young man has gone ahead to swear an affidavit that yes, he was an aide of this man. Yes, he had. As me and you speak, there is a recording. And I don't know why we are not playing this recording on air here. There is a recording of article explaining what STV um, means um, to this young man. There is a recording, a phone recording with emails, with phone numbers. We want that to come out and say, that is not my phone number. We want that to come out and say, that boy, I've never met him. We want that to come out and say, I don't know what SPV means. What a special purpose vehicle means. Why? Because it is the right of, if, if, so, if you are accused and you are really take your matter of integrity to be important, you come out and defend yourself. For him not defending himself, it is an admission. That is what we are saying. He's admitting that he's corrupt and he's telling Nigerians that it doesn't matter. Let's talk that about our polit politicians uh, can be uh, as corrupt as uh, they want uh, uh, and they will not be investigated. And uh, that's what we are saying that, here, that the ICPC, the EFCC, and the Code of Conduct Bureau should do their jobs and invite this man and dig to the bottom of this man. Because guess what? As against them, they will just throw allegations at us without taking a step. We have taken a step and written a letter. Go and investigate this man. Because we are sure. Okay. I, I, I will part of bring that because uh, he's not a lawyer and he does not know how it operates. He, when you write petition to EFCC, the person who wrote the petition will have to come and verify and so and so reason why that must happen. Do they have the, those enough? They don't have those documents to back up their allegation other than the one they, they, they printed out from the uh, I said that media he, he, and the he, one, he the has... one he has said that he has the evidence. He has sworn an evidence that he has the evidence. He, what is else it, do you want? Is it the man that said he has an evidence that is coming to court to the FCC? It's a, a third party. FC evidence. That's what they're bringing. Kiamo is not the one who said he, ha he has those evidence. He should not be the one to even write the petition. If I thought there's any going to be any petition, it's going to be, it should be the man who said I have a case against a large article because he'll be the one to prove it. It's not Kiamo that will come and give evidence in before the court. So he doesn't even know what he's saying. And unfortunately, it's an SAN. It's an SAN. He knows these things. It's just a politics. You see, unfortunately, we're in a country where People are not uh, even, uh, uh, in fact, APC, if they, if they have uh, what we call, uh, what's it called, shame. Sorry for my, for my, for that, for that, I get it. They should not even be the one to even raise this issue. Why shouldn't the APC raise this issue? I'm curious. That's, that's, what, I'm, that, that's what I'm doing, this, that's what I'm doing. The, okay, this please, is a party, educator. This is a party, this is a party whose special candidate has, have, have been asked a lot of questions regarding his uh, age, regarding his, uh, uh, the drug issue. Regarding uh, uh, his identity, so many questions on his head. Regarding what is, what does he do for a living? What, what does he do? We do? He has not come out to answer any of them. And they are the one talking about somebody is corrupt here. Who should be talking? We, nobody can say this is the job of. Uh, 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 I bet, I bet, This is why he makes his money. This so is what he's doing. What is now, what is the case? What is the corruption case that is against the APC presidential candidate? Thank you, you very much. He's asking. There, 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 there is a lot of corruption case against him. There is issue of a bullion file. Nobody has. Was it was an example. It's a money, money, money laundry issue. There is bullion, bullion file issue in 2019. It has, not been, it has not been investigated up to date. So, how many law in your house? Benga, Benga, please, please, let's let let's let's speak. Benga, there's please, let's speak. Court, there's a case in court filed by one of his former directors in uh, Alphabeta against him. He raised so many issues before the before, before the, 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 the bond the uh, uh, High Court of Lagos State. Today, the file cannot be found. Probably that, that, may, that may even be one of the reasons. Where the oh, the same man that has endorsed Benga, him. Benga, 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 please, can you let him finish so that you can speak? It doesn't matter. He may have endorsed him. He has a, the paper in court. They speak for the, he, can, he, can, he can erase that. He has facts. He has sworn to have it before the court. So that's why he's even before the court. The, the, that's why he does not come out to even uh, uh, contradict those uh, positions. The, this, is a, this is a party uh, whose candidate cannot even answer so many of these questions. The drug issue are there. Certified through copy of judgment. Available. And they are still talking about a mere allegation or an issue that cannot be verified, that cannot even be substantiated. Who I can come out today and say and say anything against you, or even do my own uh, magic and say you are the, you are Tuji and I'm a uh, Benga. 
I can change your head at this age to my own, and that will be that will be done. We have to verify it, and that's why EFCC or the agencies are not giving the submission because they've not seen proper evidence before them to say they can't just say because Tungi said somebody is corrupt. They now just just go after that person. There must be evidence. They have work to do. They are not like maybe like I said earlier on, APC media people don't have what to do, and they are very busy and that they want to be busy with something, and they are trying to bring this on up so as to be busy and to be seen as being busy to be able to say they are doing something. As far as I'm concerned, it's a distraction which will not work. The article is more mature than that. PDP is more mature than that. They will not fall for this distraction, and that's why nobody is answering them. Nobody's. You can see, Alaja Deku is not even bothered. They okay. are in like a today doing their campaign. Okay. They, 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 they are moving. They, are, they don't bother about all these allegations, so they are not moved. So don't worry. Go, just go and look for other uh, 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 means that this all distraction will not affect uh, our career candidate. And okay. for, for your information, for your information, the the issue of even let's even assume they're not considering that allegation of uh, corrupt corruption against Alaja Deku Abubakar. That is not a grant to disqualify anybody under Section 137 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Until you are tried, found guilty, and sentenced, that's when you, are, you can be disqualified. So it's unfortunate that SEN, is, based on allegation, is asking that a candidate be set, as, set to set aside or be disqualified because of but, mere But, that's, allegations but that, that the same happen. can be said about your party because your party is also saying that your, the candidate of the APC should be disqualified on the grounds of the fact that he also has claims of you know corruption hanging around him so i mean in this case now, if they are saying so so i can uh, uh, let them uh, uh, debate for defense to attack as well they are saying something that is not reasonable let, let us also put it to them and see what what, what will be their own reactions as well if they are if they are saying somebody should resign based on or should step aside based on allegations okay there are, there are a lot of allegations against your against your candidate as well let him also step aside if that's what they are doing to they are afraid they, they, that they can meet this man okay. on, 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 on the pool. And they are trying to look for a way to, to set him aside. Benga, you, you wanted to interject a long time ago, but now you can. Benga, are you there? I've been, yes, I've been fully entertained tonight because it is clear to me that uh, by, uh, by the contributions as Ratu, my uh, Paris on the other side, ah, the point is this. You have a candidate who, whose own aid is saying that his own personal who's it? Who appointed him? And has sworn that Tindy, please the evidence speak. is there. Now, it, no, no, there's no need. The evidence is there. He, he was his, his letter of appointment, his pictures, even statements from his children. He has recorded statements from, children, from, from the children of this man admitting to corrupt practices and what they plan to that is what we are. That's what we are talking about here. If you want to say here, want to talk about uh, article. He's a man who said that he built his wealth by selling cars. While he he admitted, this man admitted in the face of the order, he was selling cars. When all you are supposed to do as a public, as as a civil servant, is all the only business you're allowed to do is agriculture. But guess what? He admitted publicly that he was selling cars. Is that the man want as president? Those are the questions. Is that a man who, today in AKT, less than 5,000 people turned up at the rally? Because they know, they, from, from all these things, they know that... I'm sorry, Benga, Benga I have a question. Know. I have a question. I, I'm sorry. So yes. if, if a person has less than 5,000 people turning up... That's not even correct. That's not even correct. No, 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 no. Just hold on. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Tunji, hold on. Acceptance. Hold on. I, I'm going somewhere. How is this a grounds for a person not to run for office because he just had 5,000 people turn up for him at, at his campaign? Oh, I, I'm going to say this. How's that, how's that a problem I'm, to you in the APC? If he I has 5,000 people I'm a turning up for him, why, why is it a problem for you in the APC? I am a member of the APC, same with that, six that gentlemen who are at press, but press conference. Can you hear me? I'm listening. Yes, I'm a member of the APC, uh, probably even joined the party earlier than the six gentlemen uh, directors, uh, directors of the uh, media who addressed the press conference. They have their opinion. They are saying that Article 2 is... I don't think I should... Personally, I don't think so. Because we are going to beat him black and blue on the field. It is clear okay. the direction this election is. In. It is very, very clear. Today, okay. in... in Quara... Uh, where my my friend there is, he is current. We stood in a lorry 
We showed them the world that crowd. we are ready for this election. It was the, the mammoth crowd that turned up at that campaign. It was, has, has never been done before. But there in the city today, what happened? Within the, and the reason is simple. This is the man that cannot even unite his own party. He can't even unite his own party in more than half of the states in this country. The party is in factor. One of them being uh, AKT, where he went to be, and it showed. Okay. So if a man that can't unite his party, whose aides are telling on him, whose children are, are, are conspiring among themselves and making sure that he runs for an office they know he's not fit for, who was helped up the stairs in Lokoda, Helped up and helped down the stairs by age. Uh, Benga, uh, Benga, 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 please, 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 please tell our people. Benga, 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 please tell our people Benga, uh, that you created uh, you did you, there was a, a movement restriction in the kitty today, just because of this campaign. Tell the tell people that let's know that your government declared restriction, movement movement restriction uh, in the kitty. So all that right. to prevent people from going to gentlemen, this gentlemen, gentlemen, because we're out of time quickly, I just want to ask a quick question. Um, the Labour Party has waded into this matter, and the Labour Party is saying that both the PDP and the APC presidential candidates need to be tried, and if possible, disqualified, being that both candidates have been seen as corrupt. I want, you know, a statement each from you guys, because we have to go now. Quickly. Uh, so let me quickly go, because um, when the, when the Labour Party candidate is speaking about this election, is what we, we are calling, on our side, we are calling him pdp like. He was a member of the PDP for a long time. He was also an advisor to the former president. The Labour uh, Party is saying so that a, your candidate is corrupt. And if there is evidence enough to again, deny whatever you, it is your candidate saying, he's and, only saying, whatever it is and he's disqualify saying, he's only him. The language of the as far as we are concerned, whatever he says we don't care about, he was the governor of eight years, no impact. He was advisor on economy, no impact. So why should we care what he has to say? Okay, thank you. Thank and you, Benga. Oh, no. Benga, I just said a statement to you. He's the only one that has Benga, we have to go. We have to go. We have to go. Benga, we have to go. We have to take Tunji's response. Stay away from what I'm talking about. All right, quickly. The Labour Party is just trying to do for a shortcut to become the president because he knows that there is no way he can win this election. So it's only when uh, there is no number one, number two, which is number one is Atiku, number two is actual development. Uh, probably... Uh, he will come in and then he will likely step at, step in if the number one and number two. And and, been, and, and who gave you these numberings? Who who assigned these numberings to you? You will confirm it by February twenty fifth. You will say you will no, say but, I but tell who you. gave you these numberings? Who gave you number you one? Say, you who gave them you will say I, I say so. I gave it. I I have, I have studied everything. So you're saying I, that I'm the PDP can win you, elections for themselves without Nigeria? Just promise that you will find me back to my repeat this. I will tell you that I say so. Okay. Well, I want to say uh, thank you. So. Thank you, gentlemen. We I have to go. Our next in this we country. have to go. Nigerians will decide who de de becomes their president. Binga Olonkwami is a public relations consultant and an APC member. Tunji Abdulhamid is a member of Kwar State PDP Presidential and State Campaign Council and is also a legal practitioner. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for being part of the conversation. Thank you for having me. All Thanks right. for having me. All right. We'll take a quick break. When we return, we'll be discussing the drama that um, ensued w within the central bank, even though the DSS has come out to say no such thing happened. Stay with us.